This video consists of three parts. In part one, we're going to explain how transmission modulating valve operates. And then in part two, we're going to see the power flow of second speed forward gear. And lastly, we're going to demonstrate transmission disassembly. In part one, we're going to see how modulating valve works to engage and disengage clutches step by step. In the first stage, electric current is sent to the solenoid. As the solenoid is energized, the rod extends to the right. As the rod extends, the ball restricts the orifice, creating a pressure rise in the right area of the ball. And this increased pressure pushes the spool to the right and compresses the spring. Once the spool is shifted to the right, a passageway is created between the supply port and the clutch port. This passageway allows the oil to flow to the clutch port and finally the clutches are engaged. When the clutches need to be disengaged, the rod moves back to the left as the solenoid is de-energized. And as the rod retracts, the ball opens the orifice, creating a pressure drop in the right area of the ball. Then, the spool moves back to the left by the spring force. As the spool returns, a passageway between the clutch port and the drain port is created. This passageway allows the oil to drain from the clutch port, disengaging the clutches. Moving on, in part 2, we're going to see the power flow of second speed for gear. This planetary transmission consists of six clutches. Number 1 and number 2 clutches are direction clutches, and the clutches from number 3 to number 6 are speed clutches. Second speed for gear is created by engaging the number 2 clutch and the number 5 clutch. In the initial stage, the input shaft turns the number 2 sun gear. After that, the number 2 sun gear turns the number 2 planet gears, which is connected to the number 3 planet gears. Since the number 2 clutch is engaged, the number 2 ring gear is held stationary. And then the carrier for number 2 and 3 planet gears turns the number 4 carrier. The number 4 planet gear, which is part of the number 4 carrier, turns the number 4 ring gear. As the number 4 ring gear turns, the rotating hub turns with the ring gear because the number 5 clutch is engaged. And finally, the rotating hub turns the output shaft, sending the power to the differential. In the last part, we're going to demonstrate a disassembling procedure of CAT 988B transmission. At the end of video, you will be able to see the rotating hub as well. Remove 20 bolts. Remove the number 6 clutch housing. Remove the piston. Remove springs. Remove discus. Remove plates. Remove dowels. Remove the ring gear. Remove the ring from the shaft assembly. Remove the snap ring. Remove the carrier. Remove the snap ring. Remove the sun gear. Remove the manifold assembly. Remove the o-ring seal. Check the condition of the seals. If the seals have a damage, use new parts for replacement. Remove the bolt. 
Remove the number 4 clutch housing. Remove the piston. Remove the disc. Remove the plate. Remove the disc. Remove the springs. Remove the dowels. Remove 20 bolts from the housing assembly. Remove the housing assembly. Once you remove it, you will see the rotating hub. This is the end of video. Thanks for watching, and I hope you understood better.